you guys, Rick out here, and today I'm back with popular request for the memory cell. So let's get started. And I also have a new mic, so if you guys can tell the difference, let me know in the comments, because I haven't be able, been able to. So we need two different color wools right now, guys. We need, well, I, I'm going to use purple and yellow, and then we need to make a line of eight like that. Then with this line of eight, we put pistons on top of them. Still only making that one. Alright, so now we want to take, we'll go over three, and put up our other pistons. You can hear me breathe. <laughs> Alright, now we'll take our purple again. Come up to about here. Now we come up one like that. Oops. And I want to tell you guys this is not my design. I just found it and I'll give the credit to CNB Minecraft. This is his design. The one he uses, I don't know if he made it up or found it somewhere else too. But it's the most my most favorite version of this memory cell. It makes the most sense to me, so it's the one I use. And I know it's done Zombie Fortress, a lot of you guys are like, You're stealing from CNB! He did all the work, and you're just using his stuff! Well, to the people who are going to hate and get troll, do you really expect me to come up with all my own ways to make certain stuff than just to use other people's? Like, if certain people use the T-flip-flop, are you going to, like, get mad because... Or is Luckland going to get mad because you're using the T-flip-flop? No... He, I don't even think he made it, but that's, that's besides the point. It's just, it's a, it's obnoxious. It really is. So just stop hating and get over the fact that, yeah, I used someone's else, someone else's circuit. But, you know, if I spent days trying to figure out how to build my own, which does the same thing. I mean, there's no point. There really isn't. So, okay. Back to this. See how guys how I've done this? I have two piston lines controlled by purple, two piston lines controlled by yellow. Now we want to pull out our redstone uh, wire or dust and our repeaters. That was my lip. That was weird. Alright, start lining up your repeaters. Right like this. And here. Put one repeater there, one repeater here. Put this one on four because this has to make the yellow one go second. The purple goes first, the yellow goes second. Because if you all go on at the same time, it would get messed up. So now, once we have that, we'll put another repeater there. Now we'll take our wiring in, wire these up. Get in here. And I guess I appreciate the amount of good feedback, positive feedback I'm getting from this series. And keep it up. Keep liking the videos, and I'll keep making more. If you guys keep liking them like you are, I'm going to try to get out one a day, and at least one a day. And other videos on top of that. So, alright guys, so now we have the skeleton, we'll call it, of this project right here, the memory cell. Now we want to pull out our memory. So you can use one color wool. I'll use... So I'm going to go with the orange wool. And then you want to pull out some glass. Or glowstone. You can use either one. Oops. I accidentally threw that. Come back here. Now what you want to do is come over three like this. And up three. That's four. And then... Bring it all the way down, except for this last one right here. Leave this last one. So keep bringing them down. Like so. Now the thing is, for the other side, you have to have, you have to mimic it. So it'd be like this. And the reason I'm leaving these two cut out right here is because you have, if you had those two filled in, it would just get jammed and go nowhere. So you have to have two out for it to work. Oops. And 
then after this video, I'll probably do another one soon on how to hook these up to the displays and how to program them. So now that we have this set up, do this last line with glass. You don't have to, you don't even have to make this last line, but if you want to have this connected to another one, you're going to have to have this glass line. So now that we have the basic memory cell set up, we need to do a... It's going to get nighttime on us too. We need to make a pulse limiter. Put that in there, put these in there. Alright, to make a pulse limiter, you want to... Let's see, we'll put it connect to this one. Do these two blocks like this. Repeater in the middle, set to four. Two torches like that. Wiring come up and over. To be controlled by the uh, input, which would be a button here. Now, we'll connect this up to here. Now, what I always like to do... Just in case this a uh, server you're playing on and you're making this has a problem or something goes wrong, it doesn't start spitting out your memory, just put obsidian right there. Just to stop that. That was laggy. Let's see here. Alright, that was a cool door sound effect. Um let's see. Boom 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 boom. I like the random noises my house makes. <laughs> Literally, that was the wind just pushing up the door. Alright, so this works perfectly. Now the next thing we want to do is grab out some other color wool, and I'll use some gray wool. Shut up! Seriously, no one likes you. Yeah, we're, run away. So what we want to do is start taking the wool like this, put a torch right here, and repeaters. Thump, thump, thump. Where are these up? Like so. Alright. Oh, there's something stirring in my house. Alright guys, I'm going to go to bed, and then I'll be right back. Alright, hey guys, we're back, and so now I've got this all set up. And what this in here does is it shoots charges through the wool. It's just firing through these blocks. So we have to have, that's the input, so we have to have something on the carryout, which is what these are. So make one space below this memory, two out. And then what you want to do is every other one, put that, like so, break those. Now this is the always the down, we'll put repeaters in first, and then this is always the downside to this, is you have to go back in and put these in. It's very slow. Like this. finish putting our redstone dust in. Some of you guys have to know is that if you set this up to a display, if you keep it like this how this these repeaters how they are, when you activate the display it won't pull back the wool. And the pistons will come back, even though the sticky pistons there's some sort of bug going on with it, and it won't pull back the wool. So you have to have all these pistons right here, or not pistons, repeaters set to two. Lately I've been calling these things pistons and I don't know why. Too much redstone on the brain. Alright guys, that is the memory cell. You can go through and program it. I'm going to show you guys that sometime soon in a future video. And then this is what how you wire it up to like a display or whatever you want. Like a door. You can use these for doors like 3x3 uh, three three doors or 4x4 four four doors. And that's how this is built guys. So there's your tutorial for it. The one you've been asking for. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And you want to see more like this, and comment. Don't forget to comment. I've been loving the amount of comments and showing people and all that stuff. The publicity has been great, and we're almost at 600 um, subscribers. That's the word. <laughs> I saw it.
I'm gonna push this up to like 590. Like a little guy here. Okay. Watch this go up. And I'm gonna speed this up now. We are at 589. So we'll put that at 590, and that'll be at the end of this video. So sorry guys, it was longer than normal, but uh, that does take a while to build and explain. And then we did this. So thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, fave, subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And tell me what you guys think of my new mic. Thanks. Bye.